What's going on guys? I'm Jason Pike, former U.S. Navy SEAL and Chief Instructor at Frogman Tactical. I'm going to go over the tools that I use for my EDC. It's my personal preference. There's a lot of things to choose from out there, but cell phone. Everyone carries one and it's a powerful tool. All right. has a flashlight if we need it. We can call authorities if we see something or something happens or we can video a situation and not get involved if need be and just be a good eyewitness and turn the video over to law enforcement to use in a court of law, which is a extremely good option. My favorite EDC belt is by One Shot Industries. It's simple, works pretty much for everything, unless you're going on a hot date. The best thing I like about it is if I get to the range, I don't have to change belts. I just grab my battle belt Velcro it together and start running and gunning. Hands down, my favorite knife is a SOG Ultra CTI. It's small, extremely light. I'm not a knife fighter, so there's no reason for me to carry anything outside of something like this. It's what I carry a gun for. Custom Glock G19. The reason why I prefer a Gen 3 G19 is just, it's simple. All right. Overseas, we ran the P226 six hour. It's not to say that we can't be effective with a firearm that's got external mechanisms such as a decocker running a single double action trigger. It's the more things we add, the more chances there are of issues occurring, all right? So until you need it, you won't understand that. Weapon Mount of Light Enforce APLC. I like this because it's compact. Now for me, my lifestyle does not put me in a lot of places that's dark. I don't do the bar scenes. Um, the darkest place you'll find me is in the movie theater. If that be the case, I do run a Weapon Mount of Light. All right, if I'm traveling, I'm gonna put this in my EDC bag and another holster to adjust for that light. All right, my holster. Now this is the most common holster used today. It's just an IWB with a side cart. It's got a bungee in between it to make it a little more comfortable So for waist sizes. And rounds, right now I have 115 grain FMJs because we've been training. I'm not very picky on my rounds. Reason being, as long as the round doesn't over penetrate into an innocent bystander, I really don't care, all right? Uh, Lucky Gunner has some pretty good videos on ballistics and options, so you can check them out. But again, it's just preference. We could talk ballistics all day and we're not gonna get anywhere. All right, just figure out something that won't over-penetrate into an innocent bystander and use what you wanna use in your life, all right? Now, my favorite EDC tool is my percussion massager. This is hands down the most valuable tool that I have. If you guys like the video, please subscribe, like, and share.